KFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. I came in right after the 9 o'clock. Uh, uh, this is market uh, update time. This is the 10 o'clock, and this is with Tommy O'Brien. Now it's 10 o'clock. We've got the Tiger Financial News Network market update at 10 a.m. We've got Dow up 66 at 37,598. That nine-period moving average says we are still showing some internal strength. But if you look at the price and you look at the MACD, stochastic, etc., there is a weakening of the other technicals. We're going to see if by Friday at 4 o'clock we've made a new high above 37,790 or whether this actually becomes a doji candle from last week and a peak A in the weekly chart. We're looking at the S&P, same thing. S&P is up uh, 7 at 4763. Not bad action. That nine period moving average is getting closer and closer to turning negative. We're going to watch that. We've already made a peak. Uh, peak A. I'm calling it in the weekly chart. Let's go to the QQQ. NDX 100 trading at uh, 405.83. Uh, just barely up. Now, that's interesting because Microsoft has had a huge move up. It's up four at uh, 380. So this is that whole rotational thing that I'm looking at that says <clears throat> not only bifurcation, a trifurcation. We've got all sorts of divergences. Look at this, the IWM, the Russell 2000 week, down a dollar and a half from 193.50. Mm, not good. And the nine period moving average has finally flipped to negative, but we've got to wait the whole day to see since this is a daily chart, if that's going to hold. But gold did that about three, four sessions ago, and now we're looking at gold down a fraction at 2032. Kind of struggling here, but the dollar is also struggling when you think about it. The dollar is only up a penny or a up one tick at 102.53, but it is holding okay. And the nine period moving average could be getting closer to flipping positive. Let's go to um, the bonds. The bonds are unchanged at 122 and a half. Mm, this has been quite a pullback in time, but not in price. So it's about um, eight or nine, maybe 10 bars worth of days of, of consolidation. Uh, but yields have been going high. And if you're looking at crude oil, crude oil is up uh, 97 cents at 73.22. This is going to be interesting. I'm suspecting this is a big rollover in the general market. It's a slow turn to the downside. I'm going to talk about that when I get back from my Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, Daily News. Basil Chapman, do you like that? <laughs>